Sheldon, who was best known for books including The Life and Loves of a She-Devil, has died at the age of 91. The prolific writer published more than 30 novels during her career, as well as collections of short stories, films for television and pieces of journalism. Our arts correspondent Rebecca Jones looks back at her life. Bay Weldon wrote playful, punchy tales in which women were exploited by men, though they often got their own back. In praxis, the pregnant heroine receives an awful warning from an older woman. It's only the fear of pregnancy which keeps girls on the straight and narrow. She was brought up in New Zealand. A portrait of Faye and her sister hangs in the country's national gallery. She came to Britain at 15. Now nobody has understood this. We fell miserably. She first made her name as an advertising copywriter. Go to work on a neck was one of hers. She later claimed her advertising success was down to luck. But life wasn't easy. A single mother in her early 20s, Faye Weldon then briefly married an older man who wouldn't sleep with her. Amazing how one unseen person can do so much to spoil a life. After marrying again, she began writing TV plays and novels while she was pregnant. <laughs> you are clumsy. I am not clumsy. Did it... She wrote about cars, the sexual revolution, and the supernatural. You'd better keep that. But it's your wedding ring. Her best-known novel, The Life and Loves of a She-Devil, in which a woman takes revenge on her unfaithful husband, was adapted for television. It cemented her reputation as one of Britain's foremost feminist writers. Puffball, one of her best novels, later became a film. Yet as she got older, her views of women's roles shifted. Well, does feminism, for instance, it was technology, it was birth control, it was, it was with all kinds of other factors. I mean, sometimes I think feminism was just the sort of cloak under which capitalism sort of crept up in us all and turned us into a consumer society and made us all go out to work and exhausted them just simply. Later in life, she urged women to pick up their husband's socks. Some feminists accused her of betrayal. She felt her job was done. What drove me to feminism 50 years ago, she wrote, was the myth that men were the breadwinners and women kept house and looked pretty. That myth finally exploded, and I helped to explode it. Faye Weldon, who has died at the age of 91.